It's Timmy and Chrissy's party, I think. In yesterday's episode of Round These Parts... I'm not going with you. Are you coming with me? He's not coming with me. <laughs> Well, I'm not going with him. Well, are you coming or not coming then? Greetings to viewers on Flirt's Globe who have just joined us here on Intergalactic Television for another free trial transmix. Remember, IGTV brings you the very best didwear from around the galaxy, but you have to pay for that. Coming up next, absolutely free, another exclusive transmix by our star reporter, WYSIWYG, from the planet you call Earth, or as we call it, Flirt's Globe, 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 Globe. And Transmix Dave, live on Rovercam. Welcome, viewers throughout the galaxy. Greetings. In this week's Transmix, I shall be investigating how humans travel from place to place. I am now demonstrating a mode of travel unique to Flirt's Globe. They call this walking or getting off your fat bottom. I have now been practicing for several Earth weeks, and I think I just about have it. Ooh! Oh, oh, mastered. Well, I think that's enough walking for today. Interesting though, isn't it? And the really good thing is that after just three hours walking, I am now exactly where I want to be. Thanks so much, Shelley. That was brilliant. Oh, well done. Oh, about time two. No, no, it's after four. Oh, sorry I'm late. You ought to have seen that traffic. Globio, where exactly have you been the last three hours? Well, I was in bed till about half an hour ago, then I spot a lunch and then straight there and raring to go. Hello, Dave. We are waiting to receive your report on fashion. It's, it's, it's not Dave, it's WYSIWYG. And it's transport, not fashion. But you must have received my Galifax, Dave. Galifax? Galifax. Look, I, I don't know anything about any Galifax. All I know is my name is WYSIWYG and this transmix is about transport. But my Galifax was to inform you of a change of subject to fashion. Fashion? Fashion? Look, MD, I didn't get any Galifax. Oh, this is typical. Here I am, stuck on this horrible, stinking little planet. Oh, no offence, Earth viewers. Seven million files from my loved things with just an oversized, underbrain techie for company. And what's that you've got there, Globule? Hmm? What's that? Because, nothing. Because it looks just a little bit to me like a Galifax. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, yes. no, no. This, yes, well, yes. this. Yes. No, 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 this. Yes. This. Yes. Now, this. No, this. The, this is a hat. Yes. No, th this is a hat in the style of a Galifax. It's very fashionable. Thank you, Globule. Perhaps you'd like to do the report on fashion. Oh, well, yes. Yes, I would. Uh, uh, hello, viewers, and my many admirers throughout the galaxy. Uh, hello, Mum. How do I look? Just give that here. It's my hat! What am I going to do if it rains? Get wet! Now, would you check Rover Cam? Check Rover Cam. Okay. Check Super Hat Cam. <laughs> now, how do I look? <laughs> Thank you. So, viewers, fashion. Look, I know nothing about fashion. I can see that, Dave, but just do your best. I will transmix back to you shortly. All right. And don't call me shorty. Today's program is brought to you by Bot Extinch. Is your rear end a bit of a dead end? Then why not try Bot Extinch? The force behind that will put you in front. At last, a bottom extension that doesn't require scaffolding, braces, or unsightly wires. The bot extent Bong. is the result of years of research by Bluebian scientists. Vib. Vib. 
Vib. Millions of invisible bouncers work night and day to keep the bonnet stench bouncing freely. So be the envy of everyone in your sector with a bodic stench. Bodic stench, the superior posterior. I found that it was drying up, you see. Do you see? Well, I think I understand. You, you had the gas mark up too high and you left it in the oven for longer than the instructions. Yes, and it ruined it completely. Bread and butter pudding. <laughs> it was more like toast pudding. <laughs> <laughs> What's toast? And now, Flirts Globus, through the wonder of Quantum Cam, we bring you live pictures from time and space in our regular feature, How They Are Then. Wug! How did you know it was me then? I recognise your knees, mate. <laughs> Nobody's got knees like yours. <laughs> well then, what do you think of this? Eh? <laughs> oh, it's a great improvement, Og. What is it? This is the latest thing. <laughs> when you wear one of these, you become a man of mystery. People notice you. It makes you uh, different. Really? Yeah. That is why just about everyone in the whole village is wearing one. And they're all different as well, are they? <laughs> you ought to get one. It'd suit you. I don't think it's for me, mate. I think it's stupid. Ooh. What do you call it, anyway? It's called one of those things for your head that sits upon it and has a frilly bit around the edge. It is a bit of a mouthful, but that is all we could think of. Well, you could just say, upon it. Upon it? Oh, that is a great idea. That is what we will call it from now on. A pony! <laughs> What'd you have to swap for that thing anyway? Oh, uh, what do you think? I don't know. A couple of outrow heads. Uh, your miles out. This cost me my best set of dino clobbering clubs and a flint axe. You're joking! Oh, I'm not. I can make you one for next to nothing. Oh, yes, but it would not have this. What's that then? The designer label. It shows you have got the best one that there is. It's a slug. That's right. Very appropriate. Listen, mate, Gary Granite wears one of these. He does. He does. I saw him at a rock concert last year at the cavern. <laughs> <laughs> he was really good until the roof fell on his head. Yeah, I heard he got slated. Yeah, yeah. You know, I reckon a rock music will soon go out of fashion. Nah. Yeah, I mean, what with the Iron Age coming up? Well, what will we have then, then? Heavy metal. <laughs> Don't forget to leave it in the oven for two hours, otherwise it won't be done properly. Oh, I'm looking forward to having a go at this bread and butter pudding, Wizzy. What do you think? Does it have to be brown sugar? I take it your fashion report's what? not quite ready oh, yet, yes, yes. Dave. Hang on, hang on. How do I look? Very nice, dear. Griddly as a slot's Maloney. <laughs> Thank you. So, fashion. And transmit. No, MD, wait. No, just give me a chance. More traffic news now. Any spacecraft heading for the planet Tuboid are advised to use alternative routes as two space movie introductions have collided on the intergalactic orbital and the phrase, a long time ago in a galaxy far away, is blocking the southbound carriageway. Thank you. And now, back to Flirt's Globe via Random Cam. Tickets, please. Oh, I'm afraid I didn't get a ticket before getting on the train. Oh, and why is that? I fell asleep in the queue. Where are you going to? Nowhere. I might go to the buffet later, but I'm going to stay sitting here for a bit. No. I mean, what's your destination? Oh, Brighton. This train doesn't go to Brighton. Well, I, I know it might go a bit round the houses, but that's all right. I like train journeys. We're going to Edinburgh, sir. Isn't that sort of Brighton-ish? No, sir. Nowhere near. Oh, but look. I will give you a pound if you take me to Brighton. No can do, sir. Oh, dear, in that case, I, I better get off. Can you stop the train, please? I'm afraid not, sir. Uh, no, we're not stopping now before Edinburgh. Oh, it's going to make it a bit difficult for people to get on at the other stations, isn't it? Yes, well, they wouldn't be stupid enough to try, sir. Now, where did you get on? Doncaster. We didn't stop at Doncaster, sir. Oh no, I blooming well spilt me coffee getting on. Oh, 
shakes. Here, I know you, don't I? <laughs> yes, I thought I did. What is he doing? No, no, I'm down here on this planet working for IGTV. Yeah, no, talking head stuff mostly, nothing interesting. Huh. Are you? Oh. Come here, will you stop it? We've got a fashion report to make. Look, sorry, I've got to go. No, no, that's WYSIWYG, the presenter. <laughs> no, no, I'd never heard of him either. You look great, that colour really suits you. Volley Harbla. Don't let me ever catch you talking to an inanimate object ever again. I'll send you to the planet Jeremy if I have any more of this. I know her. I met her on holiday on Tryon Delta 4. Yeah, just, just look, just, just, all right, just one minute. Sure, just, sure. And now, your chance to vote in this Millennium's Univision Song Contest. This entry is from the planet Anorax. It's the two Collins with Woo Woo. Standing on the platform, waiting in the rain. Pencil at the ready, I can hear a train. Woo woo. It's a one, two, five, choo choo. It's an eight wheel drive. Keeping my eye on the track, in my hand a rack. So all those who would like to see the two Collins in the finals of the Univision Song Contest, press your buttons now. Ah oh well, I'm afraid there's nothing whatsoever for the two Collins. There's a surprise. And Transmix Dave. Any chance of a fashion report from Flirts Globe? This is a boutique where the humans come to buy lots of different shaped pieces of cloth or clothes for their different shaped parts. Yeah, Wizzy, is this me? Unfortunately, yes. Now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to do a fashion report here. Oh, I was just asking. Well, don't! But the humans don't just wear clothes to stop other humans laughing at their bodies. They also wear them to make a statement. This clothes, for instance, says, I am very small. This one is saying, I am rather large. And this one says... ta -da! What do you think? Oh, drop you! For this sake, why are you wearing your stomach inside out? What do you mean? It's my T-shirt. Your what? My T-shirt, look! Oh, it's incredible. Only on this planet could, could you wear a shirt that you've just eaten your tea off. It's disgusting, revolting. Now, please! As you can see, fashion is very much a matter of taste. Or not, in Globule's case. But the most imp... Oh, for goodness sake! You don't like it, do you? This I can tell. This is hopeless. This is absolutely hopeless. It's not you, it's a fly. Here I am, trying to do a serious piece on the social imp... Now, that I like. Do they do it in green? Yeah, I think so. I don't think they'll have your size, though. Well, where are they? Over here. Oh, let's have a look. Status report, Blaster Crow! The surface to which we are attached is of a low atomic structure, Key Volco, and of an unknown molecular mix. The colour is quite nauseating also, Blaster Crow. <laughs> The surface is shifting, Keeble Crow. Hurry! We must attain open space to ensure our safety! Start main engines, Master Crow! I will spawn, Keeble Crow! What do you think, eh? Well, I'm not really sure about the colour. Oh, really? Full power has been achieved, Master Crow! Detach and lift off! I will spawn, Keeble Crow! Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? We cannot break through, Master Crow! We must engage the neutron hyperdrive, Kiva Crow! How can we all right? Engage it, Master Crow! We have succeeded, Kiva Crow! We are free! Ah, uh, that was another lucky escape, Master Crow! Things are not always as they seem on this galaxy. But for now, on with the mission, Kimo Crow! On with the mission! I just can't keep up with these modern fashions. <sighs> I was right about the colour, though. Oh, yeah. Out now, 20 Walkman greats. The latest craze from Flirt Globe. Rock classics from the Rolling Stones. Status quo. Meatloaf 
and many, many more, all on 20 Walkman Greats. We believe we may have stumbled onto a scandal right here in this very boutique. This unusually loud music is in fact hiding a more sinister sound. When we filter out the music, this is what you hear. Oh! Oh! We are now going to investigate. If my theory is correct, any moment now we will have proof, yes, proof, that here in this very boutique, humans are being tortured, forcing them into buying clothes that do not fit properly. Let's see what exactly is going on behind this curtain. Yes! Oh! What on earth do you think you're doing? Wheezy Week, IGTV, it's all right. Oh, get out! Go on, both of you! No, we're, we're here to help you. Oh, yes. We'll see about that. Get ah, out! Go, 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 no, go, no, go no, get no, out! Go! Go! Why are you standing like that? No reason. You've been standing like that all day. I haven't. I think you have. And I think I know why. Why? Catalogue trousers. What? You got those trousers from a catalogue, didn't you? Oh, how did you know? Well, they looked fine in the picture when the model was standing like that. Well, they always do, Maz. They always do. You know, I wish you'd told me you planned to do something like that. I'd have warned you. Well, I wasn't going to, but they seem so cheap. Six p a week for 300 years. Oh, I know, Maz, my old buddy. You do get lured in. Actually, you got off quite lightly. It's usually the backs that are the problem. Backs? Yeah. You know, the backs of the clothes? Well, they never show you the backs in the pictures, do they? Only the fronts. A friend of mine once ordered a pink cardi from a catalogue. It arrived, she took it out of the package, turned it round, and there was a dirty, great, big rubber elephant's head sewn on the back. Well, you couldn't see it in the picture. Oh, no, how awful. Well, you know, I'd heard something like that. Someone my mum knew once ordered a dress from a catalogue. Well, it arrived, and, well, she thought the package looked a bit bulgy. Well, she opened it, and there, in the dress, was this woman. Well, she hadn't realised the price included the model. What did she do then? Well, they wouldn't take her back. She just has to keep her. She just stands around her house all day long like this, saying things like, oh, my, my nails, and watch out for my makeup. They can't get rid of her. <gasps> that really is terrible. I suppose I got off quite lightly then, really, didn't I? You did, Mass. Very lucky. Anyway, see you later. Yeah. This is Murdoch again. The most reliable computer ever made, 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 ever made. Your planet is called Flirt's Globe after the astronomer Bluffram Flirt III. He accidentally tuned his all waves IG radio into the most beautiful sound he had ever heard. Flirt traced the origin of the sound to the dirty little blue planet, hitherto overlooked because of its smell, and named it Flirt's Globe. The original recording of that broadcast from Earth has sold nearly 80 trillion copies across the universe. Oh, yeah! I don't know, it just doesn't look the same outside. Well, some people can carry it off, others... Just look like total grotwatts, yeah. Yes, well... When you're quite ready, Dave, we're waiting for you to wrap up your transmix on fashion. Right. Um, ah! <laughs> there you are, Globule. Thank you for lending me your chest coat to keep me warm. You can have it back now. What? Just take it. Quite oh, careful, that costs 95 Earth pounds. I, I, I believe. So, there you have it, fashion. You know, I've noticed something rather interesting during my stay here on Flirt's Globe. There are some people who set fashion, others who merely follow. Well, I've certainly raised a few eyebrows wherever I go, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if my fashion very quickly became a trend here. Who knows, it might not be long before there's a WYSIWARE boutique in your street, because, as they say here on Flirt's Globe, you've either got it or you haven't got it then, actually. You do it deliberately, don't you? Anything to make me look stupid. Rover cam still on. What? Well, Earth viewers, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for. 
A shame, I know, because it's always such fun seeing Dave suffering. But don't worry, because he'll be back next week with another live transmix from Flirts Globe. Coming up next on IGTV... Deep in a cold, putrid cave on a barren planet, in the very depths of space, all is silent. A grim, cloaked figure sits in dark reflection when... Anorax, a terrifying film about an infestation from which there is no escape. And look, we've brought sandwiches, bloater paste, and chicken. They came from Planet Anorax. Stay tuned for tonight's special feature. Now we say goodbye to earthly viewers and return them to their own programs. I could have known that it was Ken that she wanted all the time. That's the last time I vote anyone here, that's all. I just hope Chrissy knows what she's doing, that's all. I just hurt fortunes. Come on, Barbara, talk Sorry, Barbara. Did you say something? I could have sworn she wanted to talk to me. Barbie's gone, Ken. <laughs> She'll be back, Chrissy. Can you wait till Chrissy? It's only July. No, not Chrissy, Chrissy. You, Chrissy. She'll be back, Chrissy. How can you be so sure, Ken? <laughs> That's the understairs cupboard. Oh. <laughs> What is it, Barbie? I don't know, Ken, but there's something in there, and I don't like the look of it. Leave this to me. You're welcome to it, Timmy. <laughs> I'm on a diet, mate. All right, we know you're in there. Now come out, whoever or whatever you are. Who, Who is, is it? it? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. He's not from round these parts. Just, just stay where you are, stay here, don't move. Don't move, just wait till the music finishes. No, 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 we didn't know she was going to get out the wrong door either. He shouldn't have been in there in the first place. But of course there isn't a handle on the other side, it's just a cupboard. I know he's meant to go in there. Hey, it's not awful that the door slammed shut, is it? But no, it, you're right, it probably wasn't hung properly. Well, that's not the point. You shouldn't be in there. I mean, what are you doing in there anyway? Well, it must be somewhere else quiet. You can check the sound levels. What? I, what, I tell you what, we just have to say... We'll, we'll say that you were reading the mixer or something. I know, I know. We'll say there's been a radioactive leak. Radioactive, yeah. And, and you were down in the cellar trying to locate the source. Yeah, that's great, that's great. Well, well of course you're not a proper actor. I mean, how do you think we got here? I was a props man until the camera caught me moving a table lamp. Chrissy was makeup until she got caught on camera doing my hair. And Timmy was the cameraman and Barbie, Barbie was the director. What? Oh great, oh great, thanks. Thanks, this is a fine time to start telling me my mic's still up. Uh-oh, sorry. If you ever have a man with what looks like a stuffed angora rabbit on the end of a pole come out of one of your cupboards, you'll know that it's what in television they call a sound man. More than that, I can't tell you. That was good, well done. Uh, now it's time, uh, shortly it's time for Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. I thought I'd, in today's episode, Dale <laughs> gets infatuated with a spy programme on television and Chip, ha decides to help him out by arranging a little spy game for him to play and win. <laughs> 